after we get this recipe for my mother-in-law. So for after my mother-in-law passed away, then I talked to my wife. Why not we introduce to people to commercialize it? Hi, my name is Muhammad Musyid bin Mahat and this is my wife, uh, Junaida binti Ismail. This is my shop, Bambu Nasi Rendang. We from Chinatown Hawker Center. We've been operated uh, the shop just recently. It's only around three months. Start from 28 August. Mostly it's all about rendang. We have four types of rendang. It's our signature. First is beef rendang. Then Sheng is a mutton rendang. Seafood like the prawn rendang and the chicken rendang. Besides of rendang, we are selling a nasi lemak with a basmati rice. We are doing a lemang also. And this lemang community, they are doing on festival time. But now they can eat every day. Just order, then they, we cook for them. Uh, we we pendang lah. We will bake the, the lemang with the bamboo. Our specialist is a rendang. That means our rendang, we cook our rendang in the bamboo. Last time we never commercialize it. It's for my, my mother-in-law. When doing high raya time, she cook the bamboo, put the bamboo, the rice, the rendang, everything. When I see my my mother-in-law make it so authentic. So I try to commercialize it. People see it's new for them. It's a new culture, especially in uh, Chinatown. Uh, it's a like, it's a, a new culture. So they they just so curious about why the nasi rendang is inside the bamboo. Inside the bamboo, we put the, the leaf, they call it down lyric. This down lyric is specially for the aroma, for the aroma of the, of the rice, not for the bamboo, the, the bamboo aroma. It's a, the leaf inside, it's a down lyric. So when we put the down lyric, then we put the rendang, then we put the rice, and we steam it for around three hours. Eventually, the bamboo we get from China at this moment. At this moment, we get from China. Because I want to get from Malaysia or Indonesia. But now it's an epidemic. It's a COVID time. Then very hard to get the contact to our supplier to send to us. Now, we, the only bamboo we, we have, we get from China. This bamboo, especially from China, is a 4 inches in diameter. It's very big. It's suitable for our rendang menu. After we get this recipe for my mother-in-law. So for after my mother-in-law passed away, then I talked to my wife, why not we introduce to people to commercialize it and let people know that there is, is a new recipe that there's a rendang that they've been cooked inside the bamboo. Why I still want to continue with the cook with the bamboo it's because the, the, the way the style of the cooking, for the, the way the aroma and the way the, the, the softness of the rice, especially we use the, the basmati rice. Because the softness of the rice and the softness of the meat is totally different when you cook in the pot. And we try to introduce to the public so they, they know there's a new recipe. It's, actually, it's not new recipe it's that people doesn't know. The thing is exit in, 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 in our community. Only it's not been public. So we introduced it down here, especially in Chinatown, like people say as a exchange of culture. So they, they know when they see the Malay only, they say it's a nasi padang or misoto or mi rebos. When they see this new type of authentic cooking, they feel very curious. So they, they, they want to know, is it it's from Indonesia, from Malaysia? or from Philippines or from, 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 from Thailand. I said, no, it's from local. Singapore born, it's local. But it's only cooked during our Hari Raya time only, our festi festival time only. The challenging is for, from this Chinatown, especially from Chinese community. They never seen this, uh, this type of menu. Very, very new for them. Especially the lemang. My lemang, they thought, is a uh, lontong. I explained to them, lemang is lemang, lontong is lontong look like the same but not the same and then the cooking inside the bamboo for them why not uh, just nasi rendang only then just eat only no because of the taste the aroma and the texture 
It's totally different. Our lemang also, people don't know that we, we cook, we bake the lemang in, in our store here. And then it's good uh, for, for the Chinese to know uh, there's a variety of Malay style of cooking. So I'm also happy, uh, very happy when they come to know and they bring their friends just to get the taste and uh, knowing about the, the lemang. Firstly, I'm very proud of my, my mother-in-law. She gives me this uh, bamboo nasi rendang. How they how she cook, how she, uh, how she, she blend the thing, and it's very tasteful. And I'm very happy with my wife that she agreed to, to introduce public the rendang and how to, the thing being being made of and how we cook the dishes. Anyway, firstly and foremost, foremost I'm very grateful when I was here that the Chinese community come to know about this type of dishes. It's very authentic for them and the first time they saw this, this, this type of dishes.